Hey guys, what's up? Okay, look at the zit. I know, okay. Um, anyway, um, hi. All right, let me just like get settled. It's just already pissing me off. Um, I, there's like something about my skin tone today. It's off, like, and I've been trying to rectify it. Like, like my bronzer I'm using is turning out orange. And I think it's because my hair has blonde in it now. And it's sort of like, it's like a brassy tone, you know what I mean? Which I like, I didn't want like it to be platinum-y. So it's just throwing off my makeup. Anyway, I have to like get it figured out. Um, but I don't like even want to buy makeup. Like I just don't like feel like buying makeup right now. So I just don't wanna like invest the time and effort into it. It's like stupid, everything sucks. Um, like so I'm very white actually. Um, but enough about me, no I'm kidding. Um, okay, actually, I have some things to, like, I have, like, some things to, um, broach with you guys today. Um, so we'll get into, we'll get into it. But I wanted to bring something up that's going on again. And I just want you guys to know, I told you in the past, I'm never going to leave, right? So don't fucking, if I get deleted again from Insta, make sure you follow me, find me. They're fucking with my account again. I don't know why. I just, like, literally reposted something that was reposted, like... Um, what was it? Oh yeah, this girl like sent me like a screenshot of myself, of my face. Yeah, I'll show you actually. Um, because I'm not using my phone to film today. So she sent me this. Um, all right. So remember I posted this photo of myself? Like, I, it's not edited. Like, this is the thing with me. Why are you editing? Your, okay, I understand editing photos here and there. I'm not claiming I don't edit my photos here and there, okay? Like, um... Like, like, make my eyes a little bit brighter. Like, if I have a zit, maybe take it off, even though I tell you guys I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, there are certain things I do, okay? Like, yes, I do. Everyone does. You don't understand that people edit their photos. There's something, you're stupid. Like, like, go away, okay? Like, there's something wrong with you. But I don't. Like, I very rarely edit my photos. Like, it's called good lighting, you ugly dumb fuck, okay? Like, like, it's like, do your homework about your, about yourself. Do your homework about yourself. Like, get real. Know your light, know the lighting, and know your angles, okay? And then, yeah, fine, like, edit, edit a little bit here and there, okay, if you want, like, if you really, if you must. Like, I do, sometimes who cares? Like, I'm admitting it. So this was totally unedited. It's just good lighting, like, it was, my hair is like, I am not about my hair today. Stop. Um, why, like, what's wrong with me? Like, I just don't, okay, stop. So this girl, like, wrote me this, and she was trying to be cute, like, so like, this is how you edit. She's trying to be cute. Like she thinks like this is how I talk, even though I like, hey, it's like, it's this thing. Like, it's not cute. It's, I get it. She's not, she's not, whole, she's not a troll, but she irritated me. So this is how you edit a selfie, you dumb bitch. It's the rule if you want to post on Instagram, you need to at least be up to beauty standard, the beauty standard. It's the fucking rule. And if you can't do that, don't fucking post anything ho. Like, first of all, I would, like the word ho is so cringy to me. It's like those cringy whatever, like, no. Have you ever caught me using the word ho? Like, that's so, like, that's just something, like, a male would use. It's just, like, a dumb word. Like, no, I don't go there. And then it's, like, she's, like, she's, then she's, I feel like this is some shit you would say I'm actually a fan. Whatever. Okay, you're done. Okay. But then she, like, edited the photo like that. And I was, like, are you out of your damn mind? People who do this, anything like this, why do you do You're ugly. Like, you've got, there's something wrong with you. It's like, people, like, stop using filters. Stop using filters and stop doing anything like this. Like, this is so, can you imagine you, can you imagine you guys, can, can you imagine like this? I didn't do videos and like, I posted shit like this. I had a jewelry line and then you saw me out in public and I looked like this. Like, oh my damn God, like, how embarrassing. Like, I'm sorry, no one looks like that. Like, you don't, like, how people don't, like, you, like, we, like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not ugly, so why would I edit my photos? Like, don't. So anyway, I reposted that. And Instagram said it was, I screenshot it, bullying and harassment. They said, your post goes against our guidelines on bullying or harassment. And then it said, avoid losing access to your account in the future. So I did like ask them to review it, but I know it's like, they don't give a fuck. Like they want me gone. Like they want me gone. You know what I mean? Then they also removed my story that I just reposted from a group. Like I had tweeted something about how woke doesn't win anymore and then another big site reposted my tweet and I just reposted their repost um and the site who reposted me 
reached out to me and they're like, that's so weird. We didn't have it taken down. It's just, they are like so against you. And this is the thing you guys like, you know, thank God I have a really loyal following. And thank God I have a really, a, a jewelry line that I love so much. And like, I would never ever design or sell something that I don't, I, I'm trying to look and trying to like be honest with you and tell you guys, I want to look at you when I say this, but it's like, you know, you really need to like, anyway, what was I saying is that I, the jewelry line that I really love and I like, it's like my life, you know what I mean? Um, or I'd be gone. Like they would have, they would have, like, I wouldn't. I would have no customers, you know what I mean? Like, they, no one would know where I went. Like, it's just, I can't, I'm just really upset. Like, this happened again this morning, and I know this is what happens. Like, I, this will start happening, will start saying that my posts are going against their guidelines when it's not going against their guidelines. Like, I didn't do anything. I honestly didn't do shit. So, um, it's just crap, and they're gonna probably try and delete this account again. It's like, when the, the account starts to grow, they, they, they get pissed that people are like, you know, find, I don't know what it is. Like, this is the thing. I think that I, because I'm not known as like a political person, um, they are mad that my, what I say kind of sticks. It must be that because who the fuck am I? I'm no one. Like I'm literally no one, but like, obviously I'm, I'm here. I've gotten out enough where people are just like, maybe she's like having some kind of an impact. You know what I mean? Anyway, my little bit to this is like, if I was a smaller fish, I'm a very small fish, but if I was an even smaller fish, they would have. I, my business would have been done, right? I mean, she's like fucking shut. If I wasn't as like persistent as I am, like bitch, you, I will be, I will be, I will be in jail selling my jewelry, bitch. You, are you dumb? I will have my Instagram account in jail. Yes, I will. You're stupid. Do you think I would ever stop doing what I want to do in my life? No, never. I will fucking never. So, um, you know what I mean? What, do you think I give a shit? Like, fine, shut me down. Whatever. Like, just like you know, I will never stop. But you have to remember, don't forget like that I'm here. If I get shut down, shut down again, don't forget I'm here. Please keep supporting me. Like, in, you know, like support my line. Like I never say that. I always do like by showing you my stuff. But like also like thank you for continuing to because it's really scary. Every time I get like a whiff of like that, my account's going to be shut down. It's like, oh, like maybe this time it's like going to be harder. Maybe this time it's going to be harder. You know what I mean? So um, I love you guys for always sticking around and um, you know how I feel about you and our relationship here and how much I love you guys and how much I overshare and I talk to you guys. So I really feel like, I feel like it's you and me here. And it's like not, it's like, you know, tens of thousands of you, maybe more. And I don't realize that, but I'm dumb. I, I'm dumb in my life. I'm just dumb. I overshare. I talk too much. I get it, but it just is what I is. It is what it is. Like I don't, you know what I mean? It's just the way I am and I'm not going to not be how I am. Um, okay, but I just want to tell you guys that, I don't know, just because it just happened and I'm sick of it and whatever. Okay, I'm drinking my coffee in my cup that we should all know about and it's the one I talked about last time. I'm just a little bit like irritated right now because um, they really do want me gone and I'm just, I'm actually fucking annoyed. You know, it's like, it's stupid and I, I really like love you guys so much. Thank God, like, my business hasn't been impacted. Like, it really hasn't. And I thought when I lost that HRH account, I was like, this isn't going to be good. Like, 100, I worked so hard for that. What was it, like, 130,000 followers? I really thought that, like, Instagram was my fucking lifeline. You know, I really thought that. I was like, this is gone. Like, my, if my Insta's gone, it's going to be really hard. And actually, I th it proved that I have such, that my line is something that yeah, of course, Instagram helps and stuff. I've lost, and you know, a lot of you guys think I blocked you, and that's the worst part about it. I, I hate that people will DM me that I thought you blocked me. Like, I, it actually like, hurts my feelings. Like, it sucks because I would hate if so. If I thought I'm just dumb, you know. But anyway, I'm just talking too much, and um, I just want to remind you guys to always support who you who you like, especially small business. Um, like they're really trying to like take us down. You know what I mean? And yeah. All right, so I have some really fucking cool things to show you, and sorry. Okay, um, I yeah, my life has been. I wish I could share more with you guys. I'm gonna be doing my. I'm gonna be doing um, right after this. I'm gonna do a a little video on um, Patreon about something that you guys been wanting me to share. I'm only gonna share it with Patreon, and um. My life has been really weird lately. Like I've just been kind of in a funk and I'm a little bit better now, but you know, I'm like, I don't know. I don't, it is what it is. My life is what it is. I just, I don't let things get me like too down. I don't like, I keep moving. Like I don't, I don't like sit down and cry. Like I just don't. 
<laughs> this is life therapy for me. <laughs> okay, stop. All right, so um, I want to show you guys some shit, but I just also want to like be here and like mellow out because this is like these filming days, even though they it's like work, it's not. It's like it's my mellow out day. Like I really feel like I'm sitting here with my friends. Um, but I went to H&M yesterday and I got something I've been wanting to show you guys for a long time. I feel like I'm going to just show you guys that right now because I've been really dying to fucking show you. I kind of showed you on Insta post recently, but like I really want to show you. So I was, I, I was on eBay. Forget why. So I want to do a little backstory. It's this. Okay. It's this. I'll just show it to you. So, um, I want to do a little backstory and it's funny that it matches my shirt. Um, on this. So I grew up like, and I don't, if, if you don't like my backstories, I don't give a fuck. Stupid. So, um, hit the fucking road. Okay. Anyway, and you're like, literally like, don't question me. Okay. So, stop. I'm making me blink now. Um, I grew up like, okay. Are you guys like this? So I kind of feel like as much as I love my family, I just feel like I don't have very much in common. Like, like vibe wise, like I'm, like, who was this child of mine? I don't really know. My eyes twitching. You see that? Oh my god. Okay, sorry. My eyes twitching. Okay, so, like, my parents are, like, they, like, they're very, like, you know, beachy and, like, easygoing. <laughs> Not easygoing, but, like, um, like, they just, like, they're very normal people. You know what I mean? Which is, like, fine. Like, I want to be normal, too. Like, I try. I try. But like growing up, I always wanted more. Like I always wanted more. Even though they gave me as much as they, they gave me like more than they should have, right? I just always wanted more, okay? And this is like the truth. And I think a lot of you guys out there resonate with this, where like you are influenced by certain things in your life where you like strive for more. And it wasn't like I grew up poor. I grew up like middle class, like, you know, and then the other day I saw like a DM or something. Someone was like, or so I saw a comment like, about oh yeah middle class but being able to to travel to europe um yeah my parent, my mom worked for a travel agency so and back then like they used to be really really good at travel agents and we used to get like whatever okay like my whatever like i don't have to like, prove to you anyway like i don't like being i don't like being put i don't like when you try and pay me out to be something that i'm not you don't know anything about me and everything i say is true okay um also bitch you're someone made fun of my new can my my new light fixture are you kidding me like people like people like making comments in the comments last week about my life fixture, like saying something how I don't know what they were saying. Like you have no vibe. Your house, I'm sure, looks like home goods, bitch. Let me see. Let bitch. Do not come for me unless you're hotter than me. Do not come for my kitchen unless your kitchen's better than mine. I guarantee I'm fucking to you that your kitchen's fucking ugly. Okay? I guarantee you that your kitchen has no vibe. I love my fucking kitchen. It's fucking bomb. It is bomb. I did the whole thing in my mind, not with one sketch, not with one design and everything. And it looks like that. Yeah, 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 that does look like that because I fucking did it myself. Don't come for me. You're stupid. You don't know anything about anything. Bitch, you would fucking die for my kitchen. Get the fuck off my page. Okay. Anyway, before I was really interrupted by that thought from last week, that is a sick, I love my fucking light fixture. First of all, second of all, the one that I really wanted was that Jonathan Adler, you know, my bubble lamp or whatever. I want it so bad. My kitchen's so fucking big that it would never fit in there, okay? Like, yeah, I know, problem. Yes, it was a problem! Okay? Because I, like, I really did want that, but the kitchen's too big, okay? Like, the problems, but it actually is a problem. Okay, shut up. Um, so, anyway, like, okay, yeah, growing up, I really wanted, like, I always wanted more. Like, I had, I touched on this in other, in other, like, videos and stuff, where I'm very grateful, obviously, for everything my parents ever did for me, like, a lot, obviously. Um, but I always like wanted to be like, well, I always like wanted to be like the rich kid, you know, I always wanted to be like, whatever, having gone to like a, I went to like public school growing up and then like I went to private school for junior high. Um, and like, it really, whatever. Okay. So, so growing up like my aunt's family had like money, like they were like, they had more money than my family. So it was always like, I was always very like wished that like my family also had like kind of like more money. Whatever, I don't want to get in that story. It's a long story. I'm not going to ever talk about that story. But I remember things that, like, influenced me. Like, I would go to, like, Greece um, to visit them and um, in the summer, some summers, like, a couple summers. And I was, like, very starstruck. You know what I mean? Because they had, like, designer things and, like, they were more bougie. They had, like, a Mercedes. You know what I mean? And, like, just, like, their life seemed like it was more extravagant. It was, like, oh, I just loved it. You know, I soaked it up, okay? 
So I feel like a lot of the things that was very like in like the 90s, right? Like I remember things like stuck in my head. Anyway, this Cartier, I feel like they had a lot of this Cartier stuff. And my uncle was like very bougie and you know, like very like, you know, like Euro, Europeans, like Euros, they have, what do they call them? Like Europeans? No, not like Euro. You don't call them Euros. That's fucking money. European men like are kind of like bougie, right? They're like labely. So I forget, but like they had this and they had like a lot of Moschino stuff and CM things. So uh, like a lot of the stuff, like anyway, so I was looking for, I was like, oh my God, you know what would be really sick? It's like a cigarette case. So I typed and I was like, oh my God, like 90s, I bet you there's like a Cartier cigarette case. So there was, and I was at, like literally shocked. So I saw there was a lot of them for like $300 and I was like, I don't know, am I gonna use it? And then I saw one for like way less and I found it, it came from Japan and I wanna show you guys how cool because it came with like all wrapping in like Japanese um, and it is vintage and it's real. Um, it came in like Japanese wrap and Japanese newspaper, which I thought was like really cool. And then it actually did come with the box and um, it was funny. And then it came with, I think like a bit authentic authentication card or whatever. Um, and yeah, really cute. But um, so also this, did you guys notice on my Insta, I posted like a little, do you remember my old box? So these are my old boxes. I know I'm all over the place. I don't care. This is how I do my videos. Okay. Get with it. Okay. I'm sorry. Your brain's too slow. So these are my boxes right now. I love them. Um, they're velvet and they're just like, I always use them to carry all my shit in my bag, all my um, jewelry. But right now, if you buy like any like 10, like if you buy this necklace or something, people or this, like if you buy 10, like 10K or 14K, um, like a bigger piece, you get this, it's called the vanity box with HRH in it. And I love it. Um, I carry like a bunch of my things that I'm like doing or working on <clears throat> or wearing right now in them this ring I should wear it more often um okay so anyway sorry sidetrack. did you guys see that so um I'm doing something so do you, do you remember the that I did like Cartier by boxes a while ago well I'm doing like this really sick thing for like a really for like a promo coming up um and it's like I'm so fucking excited about it it's so fucking cool so um I kind of give you guys a little sneak peek but I love this and it was random the way this came and then I'm working on that project, but anyway. So anyway, um, the only thing that sucks about this is it's only made for the short cigarettes. It's not made for the long ones. So you guys know, like, do we know if Pall Mall comes in the long? Because they don't fit, right? Um, so I think they might come in the short. Right now I'm just using my the Camel Crush, even though I don't really like the Camel Crush. I love, these are like my favorite. I know they're like super white trash, I guess. But, um, you know, these, the big ones don't fit. Okay, so right now, I think it's like so cute. Oh my god, sorry, indigestion. You guys, like, I get pissed off here. Um, and then my friend, um, Alex, she, um, I sent her one, I found, so she wanted one too. I was like, oh my, she's like, I love it. So I went on eBay to find another one and another seller had one. So I bought it for her. And there's like a few left on there. They look kind of like a little bit beat up. There's like one that looks kind of nice. So if you want it, you should go get it. But I really, really like it. They have like a Chanel one too, but it's kind of like try hard. Like this is so like, like, you know what I mean? It's like on the DL. Like, this is like so cute. This is so like bougie. Like, ooh, this is so like classy. You know what I mean? So kind of like there's something just like, what is that? You know, it's kind of interesting. Like, you know what I mean? It's not ostentatious. It's just like a vibe. And um, I have like this from um, like my in-state sale or flea market. And <clears throat> I think it was like a restaurant or something. And I keep this and I keep this here together, which I really like. It's like a very moment vibe for me. Um, yeah, so that. Um, but okay, I'm gonna have a cigarette in a little bit. I know you guys are like a sick of cigarettes, but the thing is, like, I don't really care because I've told you in my life right now, um, I do whatever the fuck I want all the time. Shut up. Let me show you guys my box my HM. I have some things to show you and I also want to stand up and show you guys shorts Remember last week I was telling you guys about um, how I like wanted to go to Brandy Brandy Melville to buy short the white shorts They look so good in them. So there's two different cuts of these like sporty shorts They have and these are not the ones that I think I look like amazing in but I still look good in them I want to show you guys because um, you don't believe me All right, so I went to H&M yesterday. I, wanted, I got this. It's an extra small and I really like it. I have a, um, I just, it's really like a cute 
Do we like this color? I don't know. Oh, ew, I hate that. I haven't cut these off yet. I just put it on. I fucking hate when they have this shit on. Like, so annoying. Okay. Um, oh, do you guys like my new earrings? Let me show you. So these are my new chain link, mixed chain link earrings. And I fucking love them so much. And I love this hoop that I'm using. And they come off the hoop too. So you can wear the hoop plain. Um, or have this on. And it's like mixed metal and links. And I love it. I'm wearing one. Um, and you can buy them single. Or you can buy them as pairs. You buy them as pairs, you save, I think, like $5. And this one is another chain. <gasps> oh my god. I literally put it in the wrong hole. What in the fuck? Okay, there. This one is from my um, day to night stuff and I really love it. It's these two links on a hoop that also can be removed and then you can wear them. Like a lot of my designs are that are like that. So you can take these charms or whatever, whatever off the um, hoops and you can wear them with or without They're like two in one designs which I love. Um, you guys know like since the beginning, my line has been always been like a super versatile and always something like where everything is like really easy to mix and match, like day to night easy or something where it's like a two-in-one. This is my new It Girl chain. I love it. Look at this chain. It's my favorite right now. And I use it in other designs, but I kind of just wanted it as like a chain. I'm wearing the 15 inch, just so you guys know for sizing. This is my Super Gleam, and this is my Dynasty letter, and then my Baguette Juliet Cross. And like, I never take this off or this off, so you, you guys know that. Okay, so uh, let me tell you, tell you what I got from H&M. So I got this, and um, then I got this. And I got this is an extra small too, but it's um, like oversized. And I was gonna wear this today, so I took the tag off, but I felt like I was being washed out. I look really bad in gray. Like I look really bad in gray. Okay, then I got this oversized sweatshirt, and um, it's XL, <clears throat> but so it's this, and it's just like a plain shirt. But I feel like this little emblem right here, it says just sports is kind of like, it's kind of understated, like bougie. It like, it, you would think it's some like a brand, you know what I mean? I kind of like when H&M does that. And the color's good. And it's just one of those like oversized good pieces. I like their sweatshirts there. I like their, they have good quality. I feel like for the price, basic shit. I just, I don't know. I really like going to H&M. I feel like I, I don't like to, you guys know I don't like to spend a lot of money on clothes. Okay, then I got this. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna set up and try this on with you. This is men's. It's an XL, but I'll show you guys like this vibe I'm doing lately. Um, let me show you my phone. So do you remember this post that you guys liked? Where I look so skinny. Um, so this post I really like. I really love this look on me. And it's my biker shorts. It's my um, HRH skin set and then I have just like this really flowy, you know, like work dress shirt, you know what I mean? But it has to be like really flowy, silky. And so that's why I went yesterday to H&M because I wanted to find another one. Um, I did find another one, I'm gonna show you. I got this one, I just steamed it. Do you think this is another good alternative? I feel like it's it's from H&M, that one was from H&M too, and this one is as well. So I feel like it's a nice alternative. I feel like this with the burgundy um, skin set shorts would be really cute, even the vanilla shorts. Black shorts, I just, I don't know. This is gonna be like a really easy outfit to wear. So I got that, and I got it in a large, I think. Yeah, large. Okay, um, and then I wanted to try this on because I feel like it's the same thing. I could wear this buttoned up too, or not even just like one button with like my HRH skin set underneath with this. I just needed some more because I love wearing this. Those HRH skin sets are like my favorite. They're so fucking flattering. So I wanted some more things to like, you know, wear with it, like some more tops. Okay, um, so I'm gonna play this on with you when I show you guys my shorts. Okay, then I got, okay, I got some things for, um, okay, so I got some things for the spouse or whatever, but we don't wanna talk. Okay, here's the thing, like I, okay, I am like so nervous to like talk about, I don't, I don't like talking about spouse, like crusty spouses. Like why the fuck do I give a fuck about your spouse? Like get away from me. Like I actually hate when people Speak. Like, Instagram's fine if you like show you like pictures of your like whatever. Um, but like you ever like talk about like your spouse? Like, are you here to talk about my? Am I here? Are you here to, like hear my? I don't know. I don't like it. Cringes me out when people like talk about their like spouse or like bring their spouse on. Like, ew. It's like so gross. Like, I want to like crusty. 
your crusty male spouse. Ew, like we know what you're doing. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, I mean, I'm a really dirty mind probably, but like, ew, like go away, like get, get away. You know what I mean? Like it's one thing if I like, do a photo, but it's nothing if like see them like in IR, like in real life, like no. Um, okay, this is from the men section too. I got it for myself. I feel like it'd be also really cute. Ah! Ew, it says something on the back. I didn't know. New York City Sports, Lower Manhattan. I guess it's not that bad, but I saw the front look kind of cute. And it's just like a straight top. I dress, I dress very boy. You guys know that. I like love to dress boy. Okay, so I got this for spouse or whatever, but if he doesn't like it, I'm gonna take it from me, I think. So let's try it on together. Um, look at it, it's kind of cute, right? Like, I don't know, I was just there. I was like just picking some shit up. <laughs> Actually, I might just keep it for myself. Uh. Um, okay, okay, so that, and this is the thing is like about the spouse thing too. Um, you know, I overshare with you guys, like, this is the thing. I also want to, I want to reiterate some things because I feel like I, I got like a lot, I got some heat from you guys not understanding. And I, I, I also repeat myself a lot. I do that. It's like so annoying. I know it's like one of those things, like, <laughs> I was like talking to you. Never mind. Okay. See, so yeah, I'm oversharing. Um, so I told you guys, like, I told you guys in the beginning, I, yes, I'm very happy right now. You know what I mean? Like I'm very happy right now, but not like it may, it may end. You know what I mean? It may end. Like who knows, right? Like not every relationship is perfect. Like I, I was just sharing with you guys, like how I, um, met someone who I really, really enjoy. You know what I mean? And I just, I have a feeling that like, like the moment, like, I don't know if I decide that I, if, if we decide we don't want to be together or whatever, it's like going to be, I told you something like you move too quickly. When you guys don't understand that I knew him, like this is the thing I would never have shown. I, I feel like I dropped a bomb on you guys and I feel really stupid. I feel like you guys think I literally just met him. Like when I showed you him or like a month or two, it's not the case. I have known him for two years. Okay. So like we dated when I like originally split up and like whatever separated like two years ago or it would have been like over whatever I think it was like two years ago so I've known him all that time and then we started talking again like seven eight months ago okay so like I, it was more like it was already marinated in my head and then that like year that I kind of tried to make whatever not even a year the marriage work it was like, I constantly thought about him anyway. So it was like, it was already in my brain. I'm not, I'm not a fucking moron. Okay. Who would be like, oh my God, I need a relationship to my boyfriend. Like, you, you think I would do that? Like, that's the thing is like, you always try and paint me out to be something I'm not. I will not accept that. Like, no, we don't do that here. Like, you're not going to paint me out to be stupid. Okay. Like you're a fucking idiot and I will call you the fuck out on it. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's like. I don't know. I want to be able, cause I'm the kind of person like I just share everything. I don't care. And if I make mistakes, I don't give a flying fuck. Like I don't care. Like I tell you guys, like when I like, I, I don't care. Like not everyone's, you know, I share a lot with you, right? Like I don't care. Like I don't care. Like I, I don't filter my pictures. I say whatever I want. Like I, if like, if I get the divorce, yeah, I got the divorce. Good. Like go through a divorce. Who cares? Like I'm fucking, why are you going to be miserable? Like you don't have kids anyway. Like whatever. I'm, this is, I'm talking about like people like me out there. See when I'm mean? talking about myself, I talk about like I'm talking to people who are like me, you know, I don't know, whatever. Stop. Like I'm just talking too much. Today is, today is not the day. Um, but I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like, I just wanted to clarify with you guys. Like I wouldn't just share like a boyfriend who I just met, just like share a boyfriend I just met. You know what I mean? Like, um, so yeah. And like, you know, crusty spouse is like gross. Okay. So, and then, um, I want to try on that. I'm going to try that shit on with you guys. Just like two things, like for the vibe. Um, oh my God. Also, did you like, I'm like, I'm really over it. To be honest, like, I'm really over. Actually, I'll talk to you guys really. There's like, I don't get it. Like, I actually don't get it. And like, we need to discuss it. Okay. Let me back up. So I'm going to show you guys these shorts. These shorts are not the best. Okay. Like they are the best. Like it, the white shorts I'm talking about are the ones that say like, um, they're like embroidered and it says like, set like, okay. The Brandy Melville ones, like there's like two kinds of like short, like seventies hair in my eye. Okay. Um, I'm by the way, yes, I'm 37 years old. So, um, if you're going to come for me about shorts that so don't leave, you think they don't look good on me. Let me see your ugly ass fat 37 year old fucking ass. Okay. But you look better than you bitch. Okay. 
So I'm going to do that. Um, so here are the shorts. And... Shit. Okay, sorry, I'm doing like a million fucking things. Um, I'm back up. Okay, so the shorts. So I just want to show you guys the shorts and how they look really cute on me. Um, so these are not the ones, but I will, these are like the second best. So imagine these look even better. I mean, I also got a piss. So um, yeah, fuck you. Okay. Um, anyway, let's try on the jacket that I got for him and see if we like it because I always love to shop in the men's department section you guys know that i feel like it looks like just more like i don't know what the word is just too like it just makes me look so i feel like small so much smaller um and it's like soft inside yeah. but um yeah so that okay um, <clears throat> that, oh, I also want to show you guys this. I want to show you guys my shoes, too. It's like another vibe. So I want to show you guys this vibe that I love, and I want to teach you guys. Actually, yeah, I'm going to teach you guys this vibe. So I got this last year, you probably remember, from um, H&M, and it was on sale for $30, and it's a double XL. So, like, to be honest, don't be afraid to buy huge things. It's such a vibe. Like, this is something I feel like you would think that, okay, you're going to say no, bitch, but you're, you're a liar. You're a fucking liar. Okay. You, if I was out and you guys saw me, you'd be like, oh, it's probably like acne coat. Like you would, you would probably say that. Okay. Um, yes, you would. My fighting would be sick. Okay. So, um, let's put this on. Like, this is so. Okay. Like, it's actually, if this, like, I, I'm not, I love this fucking coat. It is. And look at the shoes I'm wearing, too. I want to show you guys the shoes. So these are men's um, bands. I think I showed them to you before, but I just fucking like, I just love this, like, shit vibe. Like, I don't know what it is with, like, my Gucci. With, like, these bands. Like, the thing is, like, no one gets it. It's like when you have the nerve to talk about my life fixture with a fucking, like, with the ugly-ass vibe that you have, like, like you're speaking out of literally speaking out of your asshole. Like that's a fucking dummy sound. Um, so this is uh, I love it. Like wouldn't you think this is like an acne coat? Like you what? You wouldn't know it's thirty thirty dollar coat from um, H and M. That's because of the size of it. It's just so over. It's so oversized. And like first of all the vibe. Like half of like the trolls out there. You put this on, you'll look like the biggest fucking dumb fuck loser ever so don't even try but like people who get the vibe like you know what i mean it's like just so cute okay um no you don't get shit okay so let's try this one on now let me see if i like this i didn't try anything on um Okay, so those are those. Um, and move this away. Okay, so this is cute. Oh, I kind of like it. 
Okay, um, oh, I'm gonna show you guys this too. I got these. I'm not gonna show where I got them from um, because I just don't want to, but I think they're really cute. And I don't know if they're like coasters or something, but um, they're like green. Green, like carpet. It's so casino, right? Like, look at this. Can we just talk about this right now? I can't. Can you, can you see the color of this green? You can't, huh? See how it's like really weird, like really 70s. Oh, I fucking love it. No. But like, okay. Oh, let me show you this too. Oh, that's so cute. So I also have this little caboodle thing. Oh my god, my hair's so ugly. Really cold in here. Okay. Um. So. Like, yeah, this color kind of washes me out. Like, I just kind of feel like I'm I'm not, like, I'm blending into everything. I don't love it, like, in this room. <sighs> right? I love the way I do, like, it's, you guys should do the two different earrings like that, too. Like, it's so fucking good. Okay. Um, anyway. So, okay. Then I have this, too. Remember my little caboodles thing? I keep like lighters in it okay so what else was I going to show you um I love that I like don't have to film on my phone anymore it was like I had a problem with my camera but I, I rectified that um so yeah and then I want to tell you guys a little bit about what's going on um I want to show you the shoes so did I show you guys these and I walk I wear them with the backs down uh, because they kill the back of my feet and I don't give a fuck like it's just also another thing where it's just like if you walk around with if you walk around with this these shoes like like this with like being ugly and like no makeup and like your hair looks like shit and you're in like rags like yeah you look like a fucking bum okay like that but if you wear like I do you look like you give two shits but like you are the fucking shit like it's just true and if you don't this thing i should be able to have held this shoe up like this and you guys would just get it immediately like if i have to explain it to you that's that's where the the, the issue lies is right there you know what i mean yeah okay so anyway let's have a uh, cigarette together and i want to discuss um and so hard. i really want to show you guys my toilet you guys are like all annoying about the toilet. Like, I told you guys on Twitter. I told you guys on Twitter. That like my toilet, okay, whatever. You guys are like thinking I got like the $15,000 Toto. First of all, I fucking love Toto. Like I love that brand to me. It's like so um Swedish and you guys know I love like Swedish design and I feel like like anything I got like my sinks and stuff are Toto I just love Toto it's like I know whenever I travel I see Toto and in, 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 like in Europe and I just love Toto but no bitch I did not get fucking $15,000 fucking toilet to shit in like first of all I hate bidets okay I know it's like I know it's weird like everyone was like my mom was like, you should get a fucking bidet. Like, get a bidet, get it. I was like, no, I hate it. Like, I don't, I, I, I cannot anticipate water squirting my fucking ass. Like, no. Like, I, I don't like it. I remember, like, growing up, like, my grandmother had, like, a bidet in her life. And it was like, ew, like, what the fuck? An owl? Like, not owl, but, like, what? Like, no, like, please. Like, leave me alone. Like, that's like, 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 excuse me? Like, no. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I don't want to talk about, like, personal hygiene, but I'm fine. Okay? Like, no, I don't, I cannot use a fucking bidet every time, like, and then the ones that you like, no, like, I just, I hate it. Like, I know people love bidets. Like, I get it. It's probably the best way to do like B, but like, I can't. It's like, it, it like, it like freaks me out. It's like, can I just like take a shit in peace? You know what I mean? Can I, can I piss in peace for fuck's sake? Like, I got fucking water spray in my asshole now. Like, I don't know. I just don't like it. <clears throat> I really just don't like it. And I know <laughs> I should have, but I just don't want to. So anyway. No, I did not get the $15,000 Toto fucking toilet like fucking like, licks your asshole. Like, no. Um, I got a toilet that is the vibe, okay? And a lot of you guys are going to say you already have it, which maybe you do. Maybe you do. But you would have to have, you would have, to have had a pretty nice house because the, these toilets are not cheap. Want to know why? Because the first 
moronic piece of shit motherfucking contractors who came and destroyed my house. Um, they cracked that toilet, so I had to buy a new one because I was like set, dead set on that toilet. And um, so it's an expensive toilet. It's like thousand dollars something. Like I know toilets not that expensive, but for like a toilet, but it's dude, it's not that. See what I mean? Like you don't get it. Like you don't have to spend fifteen thousand dollars in a toilet for it to be vibe. I will show you the toilet. I will sit on the toilet, not naked, but I will sit on the toilet when I want to. Okay, it works now. Thank God. They like the toilet in my master is finally working. Like my bathroom should be finished like fairly shortly. Anyway, um, and. I cannot wait to sit on that toilet with you. I will sit on that fucking toilet with you and tell you why it's the best toilet. I fucking love that toilet, okay? I can't I can't use another toilet. Like, I like, like you. There's so many ew things about toilets, okay? Um, but anyway, what was I gonna say? I don't know how I got the toilet topic. How do you get the toilet topic? Toilet topic? Um, <coughs> God, I'm inhaling today. <coughs> ew. Um, so. Oh, I love the smell of cigarettes. Okay, so um, next thing I talk about is something that's like totally outrageous. Like it's just so totally, completely. It's like mind boggling. It's actually the thing is I'm not shocked anymore by these fucking deranged people, but it's actually shocking. So these people are doing like duets with me about my my TikTok is like it's like crazy. Okay, like I don't get it. Like I don't even on, I'm not even on TikTok. I open it like once a, like twice a week and I'm like, whoa, okay. Okay, bye. Like I don't bye. Okay. So um I did this one. I will not be eating after 8 p.m. Like, are you okay? Is something wrong with you? Do you need to eat after eight? Like, what's your problem? Like, yeah. I don't get it. Like, are you fat that famished? Like you cannot wait till the morning, you're fat pig. Okay, you know what I mean? Like so true. Get the fuck over it. Alright. So I did that, and these fatsos, okay, these fatsos, I remember last week it was the girl with the moles, like she had like the moles and the warts all over her face, like, and she like has boner for me, like she's had a boner for me for like years, okay, and like I get it, cause like, she, I think she's younger than me, but she looks older than me, and she's like ugly and loser, so, like straight, straight hard on for me, but um, I, now I'm getting like, these actual people who are like actually like really fucking fat and um, who have no discipline. That's all it is. Like you have no discipline. Just admit it. Admit you're a fat fucking pig. Like, I was a fat. I was a fat pig too, bitch. Yes, I was. I was a fat pig and I can admit it. Okay. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of discipline. By the way, I'm never doing new, new nails again. Like I look like a corpse. It's not a vibe. I look like a motherfucking corpse. Like this is not cute. There's nothing about me. I, I, I that's what it is. That's throwing it off to my nails. Like I cannot stand. Like I can't even like really. Like what my hands don't move properly. Like I like without like the correct nail color. Like dude, this is like such small to energy. I hate I fucking hate it. Okay. Um But to be honest, like okay, yeah, that's the thing, is like you're just a fat lazy pig, okay? Like I was also a fat lazy pig. Yes I was, bitch, but at least I can admit it. I'm not gonna go around doing duets with people who are giving sound advice saying that you shouldn't eat after eight you fucking pig, okay? It's true. It's not good for you. What? So let me, I am not joking you. Like, these are only two that like, I, I can't like, I really don't want to watch these. Like, because it's just like, it's like actually so pathetic. But like this girl was like, I was like, oh my God. Okay, so I retweeted it. Cause I was like, wow. Um, but, okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do a glimpse. Why is this moving? Okay. Um, Okay, wow, this one was like not as bad, but this one was like, oh my god. The fuck is it? I guess I have to go to my Twitter because I don't remember. If I, I probably deleted it because it's just so fucking disgusting. Okay, so she's like all pissed. She she did like this long winded one, like a like it's like a three minute duet. It seemed like. And I was like, bitch, shut your fucking mouth. Like, shut up. Blabbing on. Blah, blah, blah. When I was a kid, my parents wouldn't let me eat after eight. But now I eat whatever I want. Like, yeah, you should. It's every country. But look at yourself. Okay, you've destroyed your body. You've literally destroyed your body inside of your body as well. You need to eat after eight? Like, what's your problem? Okay, if you needed an example of an incredibly judgmental person, that was that. But... Uh, 
Did anyone else get told growing up that you couldn't eat past 7 or 8 p.m.? I did. And do you know what it led to? Me feeling incredibly wrong. You need so she sat there with her stomach out, with stretch marks all over, telling me, basically blaming her parents for her bad choices. Like blaming her parents for overeating. Um, okay. And then this one did the same thing. I was like, wow, you guys like will not stop with this one. This one's actually kind of funny because I don't think she gives a shit. But like, like I don't get it. Like, are you fat, that famished? Like, you cannot wait till the morning. You're fat pig, okay? You know what I mean? Like, so true. Get back over it. All right. Anyway, bitch, don't forget. <laughs> and I'll, I'll be eating after eight. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not, I can't make this shit up. And then if you read the comments on it, they're like, a lot of them are supporting me. Like, um, yeah, actually she's giving sound advice. It's true. But um, this like woke clown world shit is not gonna fly for much longer. Like there is this like just actually hurting people because this is not healthy. This is sad. These people are like, this is like not, I'm not, I'm not saying that like, I have, like I'm like the most perfect person, like whatever, everyone has issues, obviously. But like that is straight up. Like if someone is telling you that you're okay, that's like a, that's like a healthy or whatever, whatever you want to do. Like that's like fucked up. Like no, it's not. Anyway, so I'm just like shocked by that. But like, and then like people like mole girl who are like mole face girl who are like telling me are telling people like that I give be giving bad advice. Like it's actually actually really good advice. That's what any like doctor actually. Yes, now I'm a doctor, <laughs> would say, to be honest, like that. Um, anyway, so, yeah. So, did we touch on enough things today? I'm not sure. Um, I... I love this lipstick that my subby got me. I use it all the time. It's the Hermes one, so bougie, but it's like the best color. It's the rose tan. And I just love that. Anyway, guys, thank you for having a cigarette with me. Um, and yeah. That's it. I really want to try this on too. I'm going to try it on my own. I have like all these new outfits I can wear now. Um, but is there anything else I wanted to tell you? I don't remember. Oh my god. I'm gonna like stretch my back out. Alright guys. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, I love you. Bye.